everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to focus on starting a sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Now you notice down here in the timeline that's highlighted blue, it says no sequences. So we need to create one. Even here in the middle for all the silly sillies, it says drop media here to create sequence. Easy. So let's head over to the project panel, which is highlighted to the left. And you'll notice I've imported four videos to work with and to start our sequence from. Now, the most common and easiest way is the drag and drop method. That's what most people do, that's what I do. So let's start there. Let's grab this shot. This is a nice, beautiful, establishing beat shot. Now, before we drop it over, I just wanna let you know that whichever video you choose to drop first and create that sequence, any properties attached to that video, whether it's uh, 4K video, or if it's 1080p high definition, or if it's 24 frames a second, Whatever those settings are, when you drag and drop to create that new sequence, it's gonna copy those settings to the sequence. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna grab this establishing beat shot. We're gonna drag it over the timeline and see the little plus sign. That means it's ready to drop. Kaboom, done. So we've created a sequence. Now you notice if we head back over the project panel, here in the bottom left, there's another item. So we have the four videos we initially had in there, and now there's a new item, which is our sequence. And you know it's a sequence because you can see down here the icon, it's different than the other icons. I'm gonna go to list view to just make that more clear. So here you can see the sequence icon. It's very similar to the tracks here. So you'll know that's a sequence. And here just the video icon. This is a video with audio, video with audio, and that is the sequence icon. So let's head back over here. And like I said, you can see the sequence icon. So let's name our sequence now because this is gonna be a beach themed movie based on all the clips we have. Let's call it Beach Movie. So now you'll notice that's changed to Beach Movie. And if you come over here to the timeline, you'll notice here, Beach Movie. And that's what we have open. So let's add a few more items to it. Let's grab this wonderful medium shot of them running on the ocean. And let's snap it into place at the end. And then I think we're gonna tell it off with this cute little fluffy woofy rolling around in the sand. Grab it and just snap it here to the end. So now we're building video and items into our sequence. You do the same thing when you add sound effects, music, all of the above, just drag and drop into the sequence. And then once the video's in here, you can edit them however you want, do your color adjustments, and then you're good to go. So now we built one sequence, which is this beach movie. Now let's just say you need to build a second sequence and the purpose that would be if you want to edit the different versions of your full video. So let's just say for this beach project we've been working on, it's a full length feature film. Let's just say it's, it's a two hour movie, but the production company calls you and says, we want you to edit a 30 second version so we can put on social media to promote it, that sort of thing. You obviously don't wanna to go to your establishing two hour full length feature and start chopping that down. You wanna just manipulate a version of it. So we're gonna create a new sequence to work on the 30 second version in. So a couple ways to do it. You go over here to the main sequence. Uh, you can either Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. I'll show you that. Command C to copy, come over here, Command V to paste and you duplicated it. Or highlight it, right mouse click, come up to copy. You have a copy and then click in the, in the unused area, right mouse click, paste. Now you have two sequences that match each other. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the second one and we're gonna rename it 30 second. So now that's our 30 second version. Now if you double click on it, it's gonna throw it up here in the timeline. So now you see we have the original full length feature beach movie. And then we also have the 30 second teaser version for social media. So then you can start editing this down however you want. Chop it like this. You wanna rearrange the video, however you wanna do it. You've made your 30 second teaser version ready to go. But oh no, you need to go back and work on the full length version. All you need to do is click here, you have the full length version intact. And you can do the same thing by just double clicking over here or double clicking here and it'll switch for you. So either you can toggle back and forth here or you can click on them here in the project panel. So this way you can make sure to work on just whichever one you want without ruining the full master version. And that's how you would create a second sequence and also the reason why you would create a second sequence. So now we've covered how to create a sequence in Premiere Pro by dragging and dropping video from the project panel into the timeline, how to rename that sequence, and we also covered how to create a second sequence if you wanted to be able to edit a different version 
without harming your original version. And I also want to say that I greatly appreciate any support, whether it's you know giving a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel, because I'm trying to build this from scratch. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.